Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is In Conversation with Zoe and I'm super happy to be here again. Um, on today's subject, we are going to be relieving some of the words that have proven difficult to pronounce. Now, even the coolest of people, the, the orators of orators, they also make blunders, okay? I mean, back home in Nigeria, we call it background, but you know what, when you do it, it's not the end of the world, as long as you're getting your message passed and you also are open to, you know, corrections or learning, as I like to call it, because corrections might not be a fair word for some people. So um, what's the first word we are going to be learning today? It's uh, something I heard today, actually. So, um, and I had to check myself. I was like, oh my God, I've been pronouncing this wrong. <laughs> And now I'm trying to fix it, you know. Um, so it's A-W-R-Y. We would say, well, I used to say Ari. Oh my God, that was Ari, wasn't it? You know. But it's not Ari. It is, like, the correct pronunciation doesn't sound right. But that's the correct one. Anyways, the correct pronunciation is Ari. I know, like... All right. Uh, okay. All right. The situation is all right. Like, are you saying, are you trying to say, you know, are you trying to go the American way of all right, you know? But no, that's not what it is. The correct pronunciation. Like the Harvard Oxford pronunciation, you know, Cambridge-ish, maybe you all know. Um, it's actually all right. Um, the second word we are going to be looking at today, well, it's a chain of words that I have constantly mispronounced, but today, here we go, we're going to be fixing it. It's words that start with E, or have E in the first syllables, right? So we have the likes of S-P-E-C-I-F-I-C, um, yes, well, in the past I would say, oh my god, are you being specific? I'm even correct, actually, but I'm not, you know, enunciating clear enough. So, it is not specific. Please be specific. Uh-uh. It's not spe specific. It is specific. Now, if you don't want it to be too pronounced as specific, you can go... Are you being specific right now? Do you see there's a short tongue syllable... Um, lift with my lips and my and my gap teeth. <laughs> Anyways, so that's what it is. It's not specific. That's what I'm trying to pass across today. It is specific. Um, please, could you be specific? Not be specific, okay? And let me go to another word that actually sounds like it. Um, uh, let's say, okay, so we normally would call this well, not normally. Some people call R U pronounce R U R A L. They pronounce it as rural areas. So let's say I'm trying to make a contrast between the urban areas and the rural areas. I'll go like, and so in the rural areas there is this and there is that and there is mm mm mm. And in the urban areas, that's also another you know pronunciation we'll be getting to. Maybe not today. Um, it's not rural. I know it's written as rural, but it's not rural. It's rural. Yeah, I know, like, it's rural areas, the rural areas. I'm like, there's no you there. I actually was taught this when I was in primary school, like, really basic education. But for some reason, I lost it. And I, I kept going with the whole, in the rural areas, when I'm reading the news, and I'm doing this or that. And I was, I thought I was correct. I, I've forgotten my basic English. Well, the correct pronunciation for R-U-R-A-L is rural, not rural. Okay, so <laughs> um, that's one. That's the third, rather. And um, another one I'd like to bring to your attention today is M. Now, even the, the spelling is confusing as well. M-I-S-C-H-I-V. 
No, no. Oh my god. The spelling is also an issue. It's mischievous, I'm trying to call it. It's, it's a M I S C H I E V I O U S. Mischievous. Oh my god. Do you know what? I'm going to put the spelling, the correct spelling on the screen. But the message I'm trying to get across today is it's not mischievous. I know there is an I, right? It is mischievous. Wow, it, it doesn't sound correct, but it is the correct pronunciation. And it's uh, not mischievous. Oh my God, she's a mischievous person. Mm, it's not mischievous. It's mischievous. 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 You know, there's a shortcut tongue thing you do at the end. It's not mischievous. Oh my God, it's not being mischievous. You know, <laughs> I'm being silly, but you get what I'm trying to say. Um, another one that we, I, I struggled with this like all my life and I see people struggle with it too, is the past tense of ask. You see how I had to make the uh, 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 come out. Well, it's not, um, asked. You're not asking anything. Never are you asking. Well, I mean, when you're going through the present continuous, it is asking, but um, for the past tense eh, or present past, it's not that. What well, the spelling is, a s k e t. That's the past tense, isn't it? So the pronunciation that is correct is asked. Or for the Britons, they they say asked. You know, since it's off. Oh, uh, the Americans would say asked for the. British, you know, the English, Scottish and all that, they might say, they would say, asked. I asked her and she didn't say that, you know, yeah, yeah. but, well, the, the where I, I speak from sometimes, I think, I don't know, it's, it's a jam sometimes in my head, um, is asked. That's the American pronunciation and um, asked is also correct because that's a British one. I'm just giving you the, the, the correct options available for you. It's not asked. Asked uh -uh. is asked or asked, okay? And that is A S K E D. It's very uncomfortable, but that's what it is. It's actually simpler. Uh, simplest. Oh my god, wow, it's a pronunciation day, and here I am jamming things. It's, it's more simple. I'm just gonna, you know, go full blown. It's more simple to go that route, okay? Now, some of us. My say, oh, did you say route? Yes, I said route. Route is also correct. Roots is also correct. American um, English and British English, but that's not up for lectures today. Let's continue, shall we? <laughs> so to the next one is.